guys, The Curious Owl here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Book 2-a-thon TBR. Book 2-a-thon is going on from Monday, July 30th to Sunday, August 5th. This is a week-long readathon where there are seven challenges that you can complete for the reading challenges. You don't have to do them all if you don't want to. You can double or triple up as much as you want with it, but I'm deciding to do what I did for the biannual bibliothon and try to do seven books in seven days. We shall see if this ends up working out because it didn't work out so well for me for the biannual bibliothon. But you know what? Maybe I will improve upon my uh, scheduling of reading. So without further ado, let's get into the reading challenges and the books I will be reading for it. So the first challenge is to let a coin toss decide your first read. So I did a random draw from my random TBR bin right here and picked two books out of it. And the books that came out were called Life and Unexploded Diagram by Mal Pete. No idea what this is about. And also The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. I've heard a lot of good things about Ruth Ware, so we'll see if this one wins. But I'm going to basically do it where Life and Unexpected, uh, Life and Exploited Diagram, excuse me, is heads, Woman in Cabin 10 is tails, and we shall see which one of these wins. Okay, and it is tails. So it is The Woman in Cabin 10. Oh man. That makes me super happy because I'm in the mood for a thriller. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Oh my god, that... Yay! <laughs> the next challenge is to read a book about something you want to do. So for this one, I have picked The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur because writing poetry is actually something I want to do. I want to try to get better at it. I'm actually in the process of writing my own poetry book involving the women involved in my family and how they've helped raise me into the person I am today. So... I feel like maybe looking at some inspiration for through Rupi Kaur might help. The next challenge is to read and then watch a book to movie adaptation. So for this, I am going to read The Help by Katherine Stockett. Um, I've actually watched The Help before and I really, really liked The Help. I really loved Viola Davis as a character and Emma Stone as the main character, but I've never read the book. So I found this, I think, at a used book sale. And I figured, you know what, I like the movie enough to where I would watch it again. So I will read this and hopefully watch the movie at some point during the week. See kind of whether or not the adaptation was well done or not. Next is to read a book with the color green on the cover. And for this one, I am picking up More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. There is some green here and kind of throughout the rest of the book, like green spray paint basically. It's kind of harder to see on camera with the yellow, but it's there, I promise. This is one Adam Silvera book I've heard so many things about. I've never read Adam Silvera, and I'm very happy now to have some of his books in my collection because I wanted to read him for so long. And then on my birthday, I went and did some book shopping, and I picked up um, a couple different books of his. I got this one, and then History is All You Left Me. And I'm just really excited that I finally get to read one of these because I've heard so, so many good things about his writing and his just his characters in general. So I'm just... I'm just so excited. The next challenge is to read a book while wearing the same hat throughout the entirety of the book. The book I am picking is Three Willows by Amber Shares. This is not part of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series. This is a different book entirely and it was just one I picked randomly out of my TBR jar. Most of these books I picked randomly out of my TBR jar and picked one of the ones that were random that fit the challenge basically. So this one's just one that I picked out randomly and it just happened to be another Amber Shares book. And the hat that I am wearing is one of my favorites. It is this little cap of Jack Skellington. Um, it's one of my favorite hats. I actually wore this to work to her on uh, Friday. I wore it kind of just backwards for most of the day, which actually looked good. Normally I don't look good with hats, but the thing is about this challenge, and I want to make this known because if somebody mentioned it on Twitter that I thought was really important, is that if you're not able to do this challenge, please don't feel like you have to because I know that a lot of people in the summer are outside for long extended periods of time or have commutes or work. And so if you're not able to wear a hat, I totally understand why you don't do it. And I think it's a little insensitive to have a challenge this specific, especially since there are so many people that are involved in the BookTube community that actually have like careers and jobs where they are not able to wear hats so I know that I really understand that you know you don't have to do this challenge but I think it's important to recognize that not everyone is able to do that stuff and you know I'm thankful that this next week that I or the week that I have the book two -a I'm mostly inside so I could wear this hat while reading Three Willows but just something to keep in mind I think when you're when you're making like challenges for people. Don't include things that are going to hinder others just because 
of little inconveniences. The sixth challenge is to read a book with a beautiful spine. And for this one, I am reading My Enemy's Cradle by Sarah Young. This spine, I just really, really love it. I don't even know what it is about it. It's very just, all it is is like a little light here. And I just, I don't know. It just looks really, really pretty when looking at it from my shelf. Uh, this is supposed to be a historical fiction dealing with basically during the World War II time, I think, in Germany. Um, I'm not sure it's something, it has something to do with Nazi Germany and Jew, the persecution of Jews. I know that at least. So I'm interested to read it. I hope that it doesn't make me cry as much as the book thief did, but things like this always make me cry. So we'll see. And the final challenge is to read seven books in the week. And so this one again was a random TBR pick, but it is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. This is the first book in The Wrath and the Dawn duology, I think. I don't know if it's a full series or not, but um, I really did enjoy Flame in the Mist. You know, I had a lot of problems with it, but I did enjoy the overall story. So I'm excited to see how The Wrath and the Dawn is because the Flame in the Mist was a Japanese-inspired story, whereas I think this one is more so Middle Eastern, like Saudi Arabia, maybe, or like kind of in that area, at least. So I'm interested to see how it, how it goes. Again, it's another high fantasy story. I'm into a lot of high fantasies later, lady, lately, or just fantasies in general. I... That's the kind of genre I tend to go to anyway, is fantasy. Um, it's one of my favorites, but I'm just... I'm excited. I, I'm interested to see how it goes. So there you guys go. Those are all of the books that I'm going to be reading for the book Tubathon. Let me know what you guys are going to be reading down in the comments below if you are participating and what you are expecting for your week of reading. I am hoping it's going to go okay, but I'm going to have to go back to babysitting starting on August 1st because the little girl I babysit will be coming back from Colorado on the 31st of July. So I'm only going to have really the first two days to really crank out books, um, but I'm only going to be able to read one book a day usually. So so I'm hoping things are going to be fine, but you know, it's going to be how it is and it's just going to have to happen how it happens. So I'm not too worried about it. We'll see how things go. And worst comes to worst, if I don't finish these books, they can just go into my August TBR. So thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owlette in our flock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys.